YouTubers, what's going on? Got another highly anticipated video for you. This is that rap video I was talking about so long. All right, here we go. First, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the interior pieces I wrap. Now, I ain't finished the end part because I'm gonna go ahead and hit the um, we'll put the little uh, plastic pieces that connect to the car so it'll stick to the car in there, and then I'm gonna fold it in. And remember, it's an El Camino, so it's not that many pieces in it. The interior pieces. And I did this outside in the wind. And that's not the best way to wrap anything. If I didn't have experience wrapping stuff, I would never have wrapped it in the wind. I would have wrapped it inside. That's a two piece right there because I couldn't use one part. But yeah, I would have wrapped the inside because you don't have the wind, the dust, the bugs, none of that. That's a little patch right there. I made. Oh yeah, but um, yeah, I did it outside and I had to fight the elements to do it, but it came out pretty good. And the only reason why I did it outside was uh, these chemicals are pretty strong. And I, the older I get, I just can't take them like that no more. So I did it outside. And to uh, compensate the wind, I brushed this stuff on. I used the uh, 3M77. I believe it come in the red can. I used the 3M high temp 90. I believe it come in the green can. I used uh, contact cement from... Um, Lows everything but this right here is the best by far uh i mean it's made for the stuff you know what i'm saying what can i say i don't have no issues with it the the spray can stuff is good for if you glue in fabric or something like that uh i find that um uh, it's not as high temp as it says so from here on out this is what i use and like i said i brush this stuff on because i was outside and you don't get the best results from a sprayer when you outside spraying the glue. You know what I'm saying? And it was kind of windy, so the wind would have took the glue and then I would have had to fight everything. But when you brush it on, you can go as slow as you want to do. Because you brush on the, the amount you want to brush on and then you take the fabric and you put it on the part. You know what I mean? So you take it slower with a brush than you do with the, uh, the spray gun. But, um... It's easy to wrap uh, pieces like this, you know, straight forward. You know what I'm saying? You just lay it down on the fabric. You cut a little bit bigger than the fabric because when you wrap, the curves and stuff take up space. So uh, let's say the piece was three inches curved, and then you cut a three-inch piece of fabric. You're not. It's not going to make it. You're not going to make it. So, you know, I at least give myself a half inch or more on each side, and if it's excess then I cut it if not then I just keep going with I'm uh, what I'm doing for example this is the back side uh, always have a clean sharp razor my razor had got kind of dull that's why the edges got kind of jug jagged but um this is how I do the insides and again that's why I left this open so I can slide the pieces in and then I can glue that back down and it won't be an issue you know nobody would know the better or be the wiser with that um screw holes this is where heat helps with which uh with what you're doing you can use a heat gun or you can use a blow dryer for if, if you've never done this before i recommend a blow dryer because you can turn the heat setting like real low and you can take your time with it you got to keep the heat moving because you don't want to keep it on one spot you'll melt the material or it'll have some adverse effect that you definitely don't want you know what i'm saying you don't want to pull the glue had to pull the glue up and you know get the glue off and we hear the the surface you're doing and then do it again you, do, you definitely want to do all that but um yeah the screw holes so i took my heat gun and i heated up i warmed it up then i had a sharpie on me because i was using that to 
mark the material and then I will cut it, you know what I'm saying, for the piece I'm doing. But I would take the end of the Sharpie, not the black cap with the little uh, peep, the little pocket uh, holder or whatever that's on the end of it, the little piece of plastic. I didn't use that and I used the gray part, the back part. I heated this up. I wrapped that in a, uh, <clears throat> I might have wrapped it in an old rag or maybe a t-shirt piece or something like that. And I pushed it in here, you know what I'm saying? So I got the, the shape I need from that, just doing that. Um. Yeah, so rapping ain't it's it's not as hard as you know it ain't like I always say that everything ain't as hard as people make it seem, but it's really not. You know what I'm saying? You can practice on using different uh, fabrics and stuff like that because different fabrics they stretch differently. You know what I'm saying? Some don't stretch at all. Some you need more heat to help it uh, help mold it to the piece you're using. Uh, when I wrap pieces, I start with the curve first. Because I find it easier to go from a curve to a, a flat spot than a flat spot to a curve back to a flat spot. You know what I'm saying? So, for this piece, for example, I started in here. I put my glue in here, and I started in here. And I got all that flat. And then I came out on either side. And that helped me get that. And like I said, I did this outside. So if you inside a garage or inside a, a a room you got designated for doing this type of work or stuff, it's definitely you know you you gonna have positive results. Just take a, a take your time, take your time. That's that's the key to all this, especially if you never did it before. And if you have done it before, then you know exactly what I'm saying. Just take your time, and it, it'll be all right. Uh, this piece right here, I had, man, I was outside, you know, and that's some of the stuff you're going to have to the, the deal with when you outside. You got the wind, you got all kind of distractions, neighbors trying to get your attention, everything, you know what I'm saying? But when you by yourself, you can just focus on what you're doing and and it'll come out good. But like I said, um, that's just something I can deal with. it. It's my own personal project, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm getting paid for it. All in all, it's not bad. This right here had a real deep curve. It's the piece I had to do a two-piece with it. So I stitched up this piece right here to go. But, you know, all in all, it looks good. I try to get the lime green in there, so I use that for the, um, the bottom thread. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then you see the lime green. So I don't know if I like that. I might just do... Uh, black bottom thread next time and a black top thread and you won't see anything but um you know that's uh, that's to be determined right now you know um it is what it is i don't feel like re-wrapping it and it don't look it don't stand out enough to do it over again you know what i'm saying so right now it is what it is but um yeah man take your time some heat if you got a thick material like leather uh this was a a vinyl and it won't the best quality vinyl i mean really man it was one of the cheapest vinyls i had purchased um uh, not knowing that it was going to be this cheap i had purchased vinyls from this manufacturer before and you know there was real nice vinyls but um i don't know if they was trying to get ready for the new year or what when they sold me this vinyl but it, it's not the best vinyl so you know take that into consideration when you rapping and like I said you can always practice rapping with um anything you know what I'm saying you can wrap a piece of wood wrap anything you know what I'm saying just to see how you gonna have to work with your shapes you know what I'm saying and depending on the stretchiness of the material how many um, if you can use it one piece you know, it may have to be a two-piece part, you know what I'm saying, depending on the curvature. But like I said, when I get to that um, part in the door panels, I'll bring you back. Because right now, I got all the interior pieces except for the uh, door panels, you know what I'm saying, wrap. So, the back of the seat and all that. So, it won't be long uh, before I get on that. But if you've been watching my videos, you know I just got a sunroof for the Elko. So, 
I'm working on that right now. Um, I couldn't find a switch when I went to the junkyard, so I'm on a hunt for a new switch. I tried to hook up one of the switches uh, like I got from the window and door lock videos I made. I couldn't figure that out how to wire one of them to that, so I'm just going to go with the original setup. You know what I'm saying? I got the wires and all that. I'll make it work. It'll look nice. But um, those are my little tips and tricks for wrapping your interior pieces in any kind of fabric of your choice. Me, I chose the vinyl. Uh, really because it was cheap you know what i mean like i'm really not down with buying all them cow hides you know what i'm saying i could have bought a cow hide and and work with this because it's an el camino it's a small car you know what i'm saying so i might have to uh buy two hides you know what i'm saying maybe three at the most because the seat's already done you know what i mean I, the most is the dashboard and the interior pieces so i found hides for low as 75 dollars that been 150 I pay a hundred dollars for ten yards of vinyl. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I could have splurged. You know what I mean? But I'm just uh, like Austin Powers. I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. I figure I can get something cheap and make it look good, and it don't look bad. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't know it was cheap vinyl unless I tell you. You know what I mean? But I guess it's like. The saying they say, uh, the man made the clothes, the clothes don't make the man. You know what I'm saying? Well, whoever wrapping your pieces, you made the car, the car don't make you. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, people, take your time. Use some heat. You can do it. You can do it. It look good, don't it? You know what I mean? I got a little imperfections here and there, but like I said, I was outside. So, if you're inside, you can have, you can expect results as good as these or better at least you know what i'm saying if you take your time i can't guarantee anything i can't guarantee anything so don't hit me up talking about hey my stuff is is trash you know what i'm saying i told you take your time and you'll be all right you'll be all right use this product right here them spray uh adhesives man they'll let you down they'll let you down I'm not lying to you. You try it if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But look, this is the stuff to use. You can spray it or brush it. If you brush it, you're going to use more than you spray it. You know what I'm saying? And you got to make sure not to clump up the glue. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be level and even. You know what I'm saying? Not clumpy and lumpy because depending on the thickness of your fabric, it's going to show through. Now, that's why a lot of people spray as well because you don't have that issue. It goes on more evenly. You know what I'm saying? But... You can always counteract everything, you know what I'm saying? Just like I was outside, I did this outside in the wind. To counteract the wind, I brushed it on. So you can do this. I'm telling you, you can do it. Next video, people, I think I'm going to go back to the sunroof. If not, I'm going to finish these door panels, the bottom part. Then I'm going to finish the top part. It takes time, people, but I'm glad you, you rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the love, the support. Uh, those of you that haven't, like, comment, subscribe. Check me out, people. Peace.